Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 9th of July. It's the Tuesday before the Wednesday that Mr. Powell is going to testify in front of Congress. But that said, he will be speaking today, so we got to keep on our toes. Um, we also have Bullard, Bostich, and Quarles speaking today. So we've got a whole load of Fed speakers. I still think tomorrow is going to be the fireworks, but you got to be on your toes today um, in case he lets the cat out of the bag a day early. And then tomorrow he confirms what he says today. So 2.45 today, um, Swiss time, 8.45 Eastern time in the U.S. Um, Powell speaking, that's, that's important today. Otherwise, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing going on. Nine-point range in Euro. Uh, we're working on some of the th same themes as yesterday. Uh, we like the short Aussie um, approaching this very, very interesting um, sort of 69.50 area. We're through 58. 54 has been low, but it's so weak and so low volume that you just want to make this tradable. Um, again, it's, we talked about this yesterday. It's binary uh, with Powell. If he's a dove, Aussie will fly higher. If he's a bull, if he's a hawk, Aussie will collapse. Um, so make this tradable. Get yourself a good average. Um, so then you have a free trade going into Powell. Same thing can be said for Dollar Rand. I believe we're up at 19 now. Where's Dollar Rand? Yeah, 14.20. We d we nipped down to 14.10 yesterday, which was unpleasant. Um, but here we are back at 14.20. We needed above this 200-day, uh, which is 14.22, for this to really get rolling. Um, obviously not tons going on like we just mentioned uh, so just patience uh, patiently long equities down below 2970 so this should add a little bit of fuel to the fire in dollar rant but again this is all Powell gonna be all Powell driven at the end of the day um, Euro doing nothing, as we said, mid-range, nine-point range, cable on the lower end of things. Euro sterling didn't follow through yesterday, but we did kind of print a funny little 55 low again. So this, this looks mildly tradable. I don't know why you would trade Euro sterling. There's no sterling data today, but just technically this looks decent. If you go down to the four hours... You see, there's something funny going on at 55. So through 55, um, technically maybe, I would say, moderately significant. It's definitely not a euro sterling type of day. But news could drive it from somewhere or something. Um, so, and I, something to keep an eye on. And if you are a fan of sterling, um, this is a level that should be noted. Uh, what's not going to be a major focus for us today. Quickly, gold, uh, 97. Again, we're trading this from the long side. You bought 90s. You sold somewhere above 03. Now you're going to buy 90s again. Your average will be 70 um, if you get given down there. We did not get given at this 92.90 um, low. Keep in mind, these are gold futures. We trade the futures contracts. We do not trade cash gold here. Um, and you got to also keep in mind that there's going to be stops now below this line here. So if you wanted to be cheeky, you would wait for these stops to get done. This, this could be some sort of head and shoulders that a lot of people might talk about. Um, but similar to the dollar max head and shoulders that failed yesterday, if they jam this pre-Powell, you know, you, you might as well get involved. And again, you kind of have a free gold trade uh, for Powell. 
if you've been involved with the first purchase at 90, the sales at 03, and now a second purchase down at 90. Anyway, seems rather complicated, all of that. Um, finally, uh, U.S. 10 years. Again, this is in play. Stops have to be in today. Um, where are we? 2038. Yesterday, we printed up to 05 on the yield. We're just going to have stops at sort of 207, 10. Two, I mean, 207.5. Um, this will coincide with selling ZN around 127.08. Um, so, depending on where this is when Paolo is speaking, we'll adjust it accordingly. You want it close, but not too close, if you know what I mean. You don't want to get stopped in on the chop. You want it to be. You want it to be fairly clear that he's been hawkish uh, and then if he is you want to be able to get in there could be slippage today so you have to keep that in mind as well anyway closer to the time we'll talk about entries for the uh, US tenure that's all I got today it's we're just waiting on Powell here uh, no drama not a whole lot to do trading very social amounts not a whole lot of money to be made to be made until uh, things clear on the US rate side which is going to be in the next 24 hours so get your mind right and get your strategies on paper and good luck out there people go ahead and make some dough you deserve it <laughs>